Hey there, everybody. Uh, I'm sure that by now you've all probably heard of uh, the tragic passing of uh, the great actor uh, Chadwick Boseman. Uh, he was most known for his role as uh, King T'Challa, a.k.a. Black Panther, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, he was also famous for uh, such roles as uh, uh, James Brown in the movie Get On Up and uh, Jackie Robinson in the movie 42. Uh, he was also known for uh, some less favorable roles uh, such as Gods of Egypt and uh, 21 Bridges. But, uh, yeah, so apparently uh, Chadwick Boseman has been struggling with, uh, with colon cancer uh, since 2016, which was around the time that he was cast as a uh, Black Panther, or rather the, around the same time where uh, he was first introduced into the MCU as Black Panther in uh, Captain America's Civil War, and uh, he's been fighting that war ever since, and... Uh, uh, this Friday, yesterday, um, uh, the war was lost, and uh, uh, Chadwick Boseman died at the age of uh, 43, uh, which is, uh, first of all, it's a great, great tragedy, both for uh, his friends and family, and on a smaller scale, for uh, the entire... Uh, movie world as a whole. We lost a uh, a wonderful, wonderful human being uh, this weekend. Uh, Chadwick was not only a great actor with some really great roles under his uh, resume, uh, he was also an inspiration for the black community in the United States and the rest of the world. And uh, most, first of all, it's no secret, hey, I'm definitely not a black person, I'm not an African-American, not an African-Israeli, I'm just a regular person, a regular fan of this man and uh, his wonderful contributions to the, to, uh, the world of filmmaking, and uh, the world of filmmaking, and more importantly, uh, the black community have lost a great, great national treasure this weekend, he was a great inspiration for black, for young black actors and uh, African American uh, peop community people, and uh, he, he played. As I've mentioned, he played really iconic roles in the black in the African American community, and it's a tragedy that he that, that we all lost him at such a young age and with with such a promising career ahead of him. Of course, he was scheduled. Uh, to return for uh, King T'Challa again in a Black Panther sequel and possibly even more MCU roles but unfortunately we're never going to get to see that come to fruition. As far as what they're, they're going to do with his character on the MCU uh, obviously it's none of my business but there are a couple of things I can see them doing. Right now they can either just accept that they're not going to get him and uh, they're going to move on, focus on some other characters in that franchise. The beautiful thing about uh, the Black Panther mythology is that it's a role that can get pa that can pass on to uh, to other people. Obviously, there are plenty of people in the movie that are perfectly capable of uh, taking on the role of, of uh, the Black Panther and uh, the King of Wakanda. Another thing they could do, and it's probably going to upset a lot of people, but it might actually end up being the better thing for them to do is just simply recast and uh, hope to continue on the legacy that Chadwick Boseman has left behind and to take the mantle of King T'Challa and run with it to the finish line, wherever that finish line may be. Again, this is none of my business what uh, Disney and Marvel will choose to do with this character. Uh, I have no control over it, obviously, I'm just uh, saying what I think they're going to do, but r let's not uh, focus on that right now, let's not focus on all the things we we've lost and all of the potential movie roles that we're never going to get to see Chadwick Boseman um, portray, let's just focus on the life that this man has lived and the inspiration that he gave to a lot of people. I still remember when the Black Panther movie came out. I went to see that movie multiple times, 
four or five times. And every time I went to the movie theater to see it, the movie was full of uh, black people, African Israeli people. I've seen even people from the Hebrew community in uh, Dimona, which are people that don't normally go outside of their homes to watch movies. And even they were in the movie theater watching their watching a black actor portray an iconic black uh, black role and the, the smile on their faces was something that you, you that can never be replicated again and I, I really hope that Marvel chooses to continue with this role of the Black Panther if for no other reason is to keep inspiring young black black people and young black actors to pursue their dreams and pursue their goals and to keep wanting to see their kind represented in movies the way that that Chadwick Boseman was able to do so so those are just my quick thoughts on the matter again I'm, I'm as a fan of the MCU and clearly I'm a fan of uh, the Black Panther character both in the comics and the movies I'm a fan of Chadwick Boseman it's going to be hard for me to uh, move on and you know it, it all comes on, on top of the fact that 2020 has already been a pretty pretty terrible year for all of us for those of you who remember I've uh, lost my dog Sandy this month and I, all I ha all I had to say about that was it, it is a tragedy but at least it's my tragedy it, my tragedy at least the rest of the world didn't have to share the same pain and now just as we were finally about to end to uh to finish the, the month of August without a major major disaster happening uh, something like this happens and uh, one of the great uh, icons one of the great actors of our generation is taken away from us and uh, like I said this is a, uh, a huge tragedy for both his family for the movie uh, world the geek world and most importantly for the uh, for the african-american community so uh, my uh, thoughts and prayers go out to Chadwick Boseman's friends and family, and uh, may he be remembered for the great icon that he was uh, for all eternity. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, um, rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman.